Oh man, we got a lot of corruption, a lot of bullshit popping off, not only in our society, but in regards to the prison system, jails. We got a lot of human beings that are doing time, and that's what they are. Human beings, regardless if you want to acknowledge that or not, regardless of how superior you feel, homie, due to your orthodox appearance maybe, or whether it's a financial status, or the lack of accountability, and that's what leads to people developing that false superiority complex. Aside from that, dog, regardless of how you feel, those are human beings. And not all of them are child predators. Not all of them are sinister individuals that plan on repeating their mistakes to the day they die, homie. All right? Now, in regards to our society, most people are repeating their mistakes. So it doesn't matter if somebody's in jail, in prison, or if they're free and they don't have any criminal record whatsoever. Most people in general live for the financial and sexual aspects of life. They avoid inconvenient realities. They don't lead by example. They don't vow to learn from their past mistakes or atrocities. They're not trying to put a stop to world-destroying cycles. They're not genuinely fulfilled or confident. They rely upon substances and alcohol for false confidence. They avoid and sidestep any inconvenient reality that comes their way. But due to their appearance, financial status, so on and so forth, they consider themselves a real one. I mean, that's... That's crazy as all hell, dog. So, in all reality, I had to clarify some shit, bro. We've covered some videos in regards to the prison bullshit, the corruption, how the COs are pitting inmates against each other throughout this eradication of the protective custody. Now, this is a... Each video we're going to drop is going to be more accurate. So, this is going to be a more accurate perspective because we have the obligation, homie, to evolve continuously. And this shit doesn't revolve around me, my personal opinion, what I want in life. Nah, dog, it revolves around the opposite. Reality, bro. And me taking the time and energy, homie, to make an impact for the individuals that don't have the ability to do so right now, homie. A lot of people are rotting in a cage and they want to do good things for this planet. They want to teach people how to learn from their fellow man's damaging thought processes and mindset, homie. You know, because that fame, sex, and money circus... It's not sustainable, bro. And everybody's living like that, but not everybody's being held accountable for it, dog. And that's what's disturbing, homie. And it's because a disguise has been created. The orthodox appearance, financial status disguise. If I look like Tom Selleck or Kevin Costner or Ryan Seacrest and I have a brand new Range Rover, oh, I'm not going to be held accountable. And that's that's okay. That's okay. It's like, what? No, bro. Don't tell yourself that's okay. If you don't want children to be hurt, you don't want an environment to be destroyed, homie. You don't want innocent... Come on, animals, kids, be messed with, dog. I'm talking about predation. I'm talking about irrefutable statistics. I'm talking about crimes perpetrated against children. I'm talking about all that. They're not committed majorly or predominantly by individuals from the hood or lower class regions. I'm not going to go too into that because people get really prideful and defensive. I'm just trying to open people's eyes, homie. Not everybody's held accountable equally, bro. So if you think that you're immune to those repercussions and you think that you're truly a superior being and that's why you're never going to go to jail think again homie reality usually does catch up it's just postponed for certain individuals that have that certain advantageous appearance or resources allotted to them you got a wealthy family orthodox appearance you're not going to be approached by police in the same fashion okay this definitely ties into reality check this shit out so a lot of these people a lot of society are looking down upon their fellow human beings they don't care to dismiss or disregard the corruption or chaos that's ensuing behind these walls and these inmates are being pitted against each other Throughout this eradication of the protective custody, we've already done some videos covering this. If you're not aware, they're getting rid of protective custody. Now, at first, we're like, hey, man, if they get rid of protective custody, that means a child molester, a rapist, somebody who's preying upon defenseless individuals and children. Uh, they're not going to have protective custody anymore, so they're going to have to fend for themselves. And at first, we're like, at least me and like-minded individuals, we're like, damn, homie, that's going to dissuade people from preying upon children. Because instead of betting on their sure safety when they go to jail or get caught for this, they're going to have to actually face possible death or serious consequences or penalties, you know what I mean, for their choices. So that would have dissuaded child predators from getting busted, bro, if it was done in the right way, if it wasn't basically corrupted. By sinister individuals in positions of authority. Correctional officers, homie. Now, check this shit out, bro. If it was done the right way, child predators all the crease would know, homie. Oh, we don't get any safe, uh, you know, we don't get any unfair treatment, homie, in regards to safety, invincibility. It's not fair at all to guard people like that from the rest of the population of inmates just because they preyed upon a child and then some random law technically says that they should be kept safe homie it's that's crazy bro you, we should be using our moral compasses we should be using logic and irrefutable statistics homie you know what i mean unity sustainability that's what life should revolve around that's what we should make our decisions based on not creepy technicalities that allow certain people to cut corners and live a lie bro and that's what all this has been designed 
by and all of it revolves around people maintaining their positions of wealth and power, maintaining their orthodox appearance, financial status disguise. But that's what leads to misery and destruction, bro. Even if somebody's at the top of that pyramid, bro, and they're getting away, seemingly getting away with everything, and they seemingly got everything unlocked. Do you think that's a fulfilling, sustainable existence? Do you think somebody like that's going to have peace of mind and be fulfilled and genuinely confident? Nah, for reality is the only way to have a life worth living, dog. It doesn't matter how much money you have, your possession, doesn't matter what you manage to get away with. Bruh, that's not going to bring a solution-based point to your existence and make you genuinely fulfilled and confident, dog. It doesn't create or manifest that, bro. It is what it is. So it's time to actually acknowledge reality. And if you think that you're immune to repercussions or penalties, if you think that you could never end up in jail or prison, regardless of what you choose to do throughout your life, think again, bro, because reality always catches up. Doesn't matter if you have that orthodox appearance or financial status, it's just unfair, and it allows people to get away with bad things, and it's damaging and unsustainable, but reality of one form or another, regardless of you finally getting busted or pulled over after drinking a couple beers, and you got a toddler tied up in your trunk, if, if that's the form of accountability, bro, for these child predators or creeps, or... Regardless if it's that or if it's your own karma, homie, your own bad health, your own misery devouring you. Dog, reality catches up one way or another. So stop trying to sidestep it. Stop trying to bet on that table that you're going to win that race, homie. Because you trying to outrun reality is like you going up against the Star Trek Enterprise turbine, homie. And you know that Star Trek spaceship, homie, those crazy-ass jet propulsion units on the back of it? Bro, and you got a broken-down lawnmower, homie. And you're trying to race that little go-kart lawnmower engine bullshit against the Star Trek Enterprise. Fool, that's the kind of race you're running, trying to basically defeat reality, homie. You're never going to outrun reality. Star Trek Enterprise photon torpedo right at your little Klingon-looking genitalia.